Hello everyone, today I'm taking you to Sok Al Had, which is uh, one of the biggest market in Agadir. That is a very popular place for the locals as well as tourists for shopping. Um, this market has 12 gates and we are entering through gate number 6 uh, of this market. Uh, as I said, this is a very popular place for local and tourists. So tip number one for this market is that you should be taking um, any currency. Uh, preferable currency is uh, Moroccan dirham. Uh, but you can also pay in dollars, pounds and euros as well. The second preference is the euros uh, in this market. They don't take any cards or anything. So uh, please make sure that you, uh, you, uh, you hold enough currency when you are going to this market. Because there are a lot of things um, you don't want to leave over there. They are they, what they are selling. They got more than six thousand stalls, and um, you can buy almost anything which is uh, f uh, any assorted traditional Moroccan items, uh, clothing, footwear, pottery, rugs, crafts, uh, any musical instrument, even furniture as well, uh, perfumes and all uh, jewelry and all uh, electronics and handicrafts. Um, also the fruit and vegetables as well so this market uh, offers you almost uh, anything you want and uh, specifically for the tourist uh, it got a lot of uh, handicraft uh, Moroccan lamps uh, clothing footwear and they also sell Moroccan items as well as um, fake items as well so be aware that most of the items you will find in this market is fake uh, if you are uh, looking into buying some branded items now the second thing is uh, this is uh, the largest market in Agadir that opens from 6 a.m. till 8 30 p.m. but not all the shops open at 6 a.m. now um, the market is very busy during the weekends uh, but on Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday it is a bit calmer on friday afternoon uh, the market is some of the shops are closed for uh, friday afternoon prayer for juma so be aware uh, of these things uh, when you are going to the market so uh, when you're going to the market tuesday wednesday and thursdays are the best days for this market uh, first thing you have to you should be carrying cash uh, second thing you uh, go on tuesday wednesday or thursdays it will be much more easier to buy stuff and look for or, or you know or roam around in the market so if you are a blogger uh, if you are making a video vlog or uh, you are uh, putting it on YouTube, I, I think uh, those are the best days for you so you can show your show the items or look at the shops uh, as well. The interior of the market is really good, very neat and clean. Uh, those people are very particular about the cleanliness of the market and I heard this is one of the uh, well organized market in comparison to other markets in Agadir. Now be aware on a couple of other things. If you are entering through gate number 10, you will find a lot of uh, unofficial guides over there who will offer you that they are going to show you the market around, uh, but they are just there to earn some quick money from you. And they can ask between somewhere between 50 to 100 dirhams, um, which is somewhere equivalent to uh five four to eight pounds uh, in in uk currency so um you don't need to take those guides uh, which because you don't need them uh, as i said the market is very easy to navigate you can easily find uh, any shops but the only thing is if you go to the market just for a couple of hours that is not uh, sufficient for you uh, you should at least plan for this market for uh, four to five hours minimum and uh, if you know the, what you're going to buy uh, it will be much more easier sometimes most of the tourists go just go the, to the market uh, to have a look what is available and then they buy uh, but if you have any idea beforehand before you go to the market uh, it will be a really good idea now they have uh, food and drinks available in the market uh, where you can buy the traditional Moroccan dishes as well um, but they have a dedicated area as well where you can find any seafood, any sandwiches or traditional Moroccan dishes.
No, uh, there is no charge to enter the market. Uh, you are you are free to go inside and uh, browse around and look for the stuff you want. Uh, there are a lot of people offering perfumes in this market, which is all fake. Some of them are uh, homemade perfumes, uh, but some of the perfumes are really good. Um, there are other things to explore like handicraft and dry fruits and uh, local sweets as well uh, which is um, you know the shops are very neat and clean they take care of hygiene and all that so that is uh, quite good now one of the most important thing in the, in this market uh, that you can if the prices are not displayed you can always negotiate on the prices they have a lot of comp competition going on within the market there are a lot of shops you can find uh, same items in several different shops and uh, they always uh, they are always ready to negotiate uh, on the prices but i would recommend you only negotiate the price if you really want to buy something now that was a quick tour of uh, the um, the stock market in Agadir. Now we are going back to the hotel. There are some other markets uh, in Agadir and some uh, local markets uh, all over in the Agadir as well. Some of the shopping malls as well. But I really like the stock market where you can have almost uh, anything uh, you want for for example clothing watches uh, dry fruits sweets uh, fruits vegetables uh, shoes and handicraft and moroccan items as well uh, but the only thing is uh, we uh, uh, we stayed there for uh, just a uh, couple of hours uh, which is not sufficient you at least need four to five hours to uh, be in that market now we are just uh, going towards the hotel and uh, the, the um, it will take us about 30 minutes from the market to the hotel and the views are really good uh, along the coastline of uh, Agadir thank you very much for uh, watching this uh, video and uh, i will get back to you with another video uh, very soon uh, please don't forget to like the video and share it with others and please don't forget to subscribe as well thank you very much